Hello there, how you doing today? My name is Maris Lady Jimenez and today I'm starring my first English video in this channel. Oh my god! I'm so excited. It's too good for me because it's not my natural language, I know. But I I have to do it because I need to improve all my skills in this language. And I think this is a good idea to do it. Okay, let me tell you a bit what am I doing here, I mean in this channel, what are my intentions with you, with my audience, my pretty and valuable audience, so thanks so much for being there. Okay, uh, I'm a petroleum engineer, I had the opportunity to work in the old area and that opportunity brings me an experience that I would like to share with you. Obviously in this channel I'm going to talk about the oil field because it's a, a, a very important uh, a space in my heart and I want to share with you every every knowledge that could be helpful for you. So I was working as an NWD field specialist so that's why the recent videos that I have been posting in this channel have, uh, have to be with, with this, with the NWD well directional drilling services in order to, you can understand what I'm trying to, to give you and it, it fits you better, I don't know how to say that, okay, I'm sorry, if you see that my speaking uh, language skills are not the best one, oh my god, I'm sorry because Oh, I never take a course. Everything that I know is about myself because I really like to learn and I'm just doing my best. So if you don't understand too much or maybe I I, I said um, this pronounce doesn't work, uh, it's not my intention so I'm sorry for that. Okay, the important here is that I can show you what are the things that we that the I've, I've, I have been learning into the field. Uh, I was working with a two amazing, well, with a three amazing companies in the last years, and I think it would be helpful for you. And uh, uh, what well, I hope to, I hope to help you. Oh my God! I'm just a bit nervous. I don't know why because it's so strange for me to talk in another language and. Obviously, in front of the camera, I always, I, I really love to talk about in front of the camera every single day, but in Spanish, so it's different when we are trying to do it in another language. Oh my god, okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay, yes, like this, let's get started. Oh my god, why my tongue is doing me this? I don't know why. This is me, hey, let me tell you another thing. Okay, here we need to, we need to be able to receive a motivation quote every single day because the motivation is the how can I say that? It's the elemental for our life to keep us smiling, to keep the sense of life and to keep alive. So we need to be motivated every single day, no matter what. So I always do you to to get that doses or that vaccine of motivation, you know? Okay, let's do it. Oh my god, I'm nervous, oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the directional surveillance. Why is this so important to know? Why directional surveillance is very important to the all of your life? I mean, the preparation or the drilling services. Why? Okay, so let's do it. Hello there and welcome back again. Okay, as I told you, today I'm going to talk you about the directional surveillance. Why is this so important in, in the oil field industry? I mean, why is it so important to drill a well in a not aviated world? Okay, there are many reasons. Maybe today I'm, I'm not going to talk about the, the specific reasons of why we do that. Uh, but I just want to introduce you about the how it works, some terminology, you know? For example, where's the bit? Where's the bit? How do we know where's the bit located under the air surface? Uh, how do we know uh, what path the bit has been to get to its current location? Huh? Or why do we survey? Why is survey so important? 
Okay, just let's find out. Okay, so I told you let's talk about some terminology and mathematics is important, yeah. Mathematics, thanks so much, you are so beautiful. <laughs> yes, we need to, to make some calculations. So, what are some survey terms we need to know to do our job? What is the relationship between different terminology? Obviously, there are much relationships. How mathematics are involved in the rational survival? And finally, we are going to talk about calculation methods. I don't know, let's, let, let me have a look about the, t the time because I don't want to this videos get too long, so maybe we're going to talk about a bit uh, about it. So, what is directional surveillance? As a field hand, your job is to determine where the bead is located under the earth surface in order to provide information to guide the well to the target formation, okay? So, if you make a mistake, oh my God, much time, money, and um, effort will be waste. And it is not good, trust me, it is not. So in order to succeed, you need to first understand directional surveillance. Directional surveillance, sometimes referred to as jungle directional surveillance, and can be defined as, a, as the method used to measure, calculate, and plot the path of a wellbore and in three dimensions. So this requires that certain parameters be measured at multiple locations along the well path. So the necessary measurements critical to succeed are measure depth, inclination, and hole direction. So let's talk about these three. The inclination is defined as the angle measuring degrees by which the wellbore or survey instrument axis varies from a true vertical line. I mean, this angle. So an inclination of zero is a vertical or a straight down. And an inclination of 19 degrees is horizontal or parallel to the ground, okay? And the whole direction is defined as the direction of the inclination. It's the direction of the inclination, you know? Measuring degrees of the directional component of the wellbore or the survey instrument axis, okay? From a no north reference, this is so important. The north reference can be either the true north, magnetic north, or read north, but it is the reference, so you need to be careful, okay, when you are talking about the whole direction. And the whole direction is usually expressed uh, in azimuth form, that is, from zero degrees to 360 degrees clockwise, where zero is the north, okay? So, be careful. Each instance, I mean the measure depth, inclination, and whole direction is a survey station, okay? There will be many survey stations along the web. So, these measurements together are used to calculate the 3D coordinates. So the measurements and calculated 3D coordinates are presented as a table of numbers uh, called a survey report, okay? So they are also plotted in two different views, a horizontal or top view, which shows the distance relative to the north and east, and a vertical or side view, which shows the distance down vertically, okay? So the horizontal distance shown in the vertical view varies according to the target direction, yeah? So why do we survey? Why are surveys so important? There are many reasons why directional surveys are requested. The various departments that receive survey reports have different uses for survey information. Thus, the accuracy requirements for some applications are more stringent than for others. For instance, a geology department is primarily concerned with vertical depth along the well path because this information is used to plot the true vertical depth formation evolution logs. They will then use these logs to map the information if this is the first well in the area or to correlate the vertical depth with the nearby wells. Ahora, now, 
A production department wants to know the exact location of the well with respect to the producing zone, so they can determine if other wells are needed to efficiently drain that same reservoir. If so, they have to decide where to place the other wells, and then obviously they need to monitor the performance of all the wells in that reservoir. And what about this one, the drilling department? The drilling department uses a service to monitor the path of the well while it is being drilled to ensure that the target, as defined by the geologist, will be rich, obviously. They will be probably a have to actively steer the well to hit the target, okay? Knowing when to do this and what path to take requires survey. A steering the well involves orienting downhole deflection tools, which requires additional information provided by survey sensors and experience. And I'm going to talk to you with more detail in the next videos about these tools, these sensors, and how they work, and so much detail that we need to know what elements we need to consider. Uh, what about the magnetic north to north, uh, the elements that we need to be careful uh, during the surveying process and the, termi the survey terminology, I don't want to, to keep this video too long and so if you are here at this point uh, and you like this video, please just like the video, comment below with you if you want to comment something and um, obviously don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will be so helpful for me and it will be a great reason to continue uh, adding new content to you, so I just want to keep you studying with me. If you agree with me, please just like, comment and ring the bell. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye, take care and don't forget to smile. I always say that in my 24-7. Don't forget to smile no matter what. Okay, see you.